Hi everybody and welcome to this course Troubleshooting React JS. My name is Mustafa Mikatria and I will be your mentor for this course. A little bit about myself before we dive into this course. I worked as a technical consultant and manager in many industries and in different countries. I am a JavaScript enthusiast. I write blogs and articles about JavaScript. I am the founder of SmartRTOS. It stands for Smart Real Time Operating System. I like sharing knowledge and I strongly believe that everything is easy to understand if taught well. Feel free to get in touch with me on Twitter. I will always be happy to answer and learn from you. Now let's take a look at what we are going to cover in this course. There are five sections in this course. The first section is about React 101. In this section I will talk about the React fundamentals and the main issues to avoid. In the second section, advanced React concepts, I will talk about advanced concepts like handling forms and inputs and how to create a dynamic component. In the third section, communication between a React UI and a Node server, I will set up a Node.js server and a user interface. Then I will show you how to communicate between the UI and the server. In the fourth section, main pitfalls Webpack, I will show you how to set up a Webpack dev environment and the best practices to avoid any bad surprises. In the last section, React Debugging Tools, I will show you how to use Chrome DevTools and Chrome Performance tab to check application's performances. A basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript is highly recommended to follow along. Otherwise, take your time to get familiar with these technologies before starting this course. If you know or have some knowledge about React, Node.js, Express and JSON, it's great. Otherwise, don't worry, I will cover them enough in this course to use them to set up the demos. 